would definitely be the case when you play for the late game, you want a marksman in the bottom lane. That's what Misfits opted in for with the Varus. The Sivir, though, has been a good pick into the Varus. The Spell Shield to block the Chains of Corruption gives a little bit of safety to steal back in the bottom lane. Potentially. Whoa. All right, it's gonna be just on okay. It's gonna be just on That is a late game champion, if ever there was one. But there's been a lot of talk recently about how weak Tristana is in the current meta. She takes a long time to scale up, needs three items under her belt to feel good about herself, and that is a crit marksman. That's one of the first, I think, in the EULCS. Yeah, I'm really surprised to see it coming out from Steelback. It's safe, it's kind of his playstyle, but something like the Sivir would have done an, an equally good job, as you say. It's very much for Giants here about playing towards that late game. Misfits, though, so many playmaking opportunities here. You've got the Talia, you've got the Orn, you've got ultimate combinations across the board. And then, as with the game, it continues to progress. Be very interested to see what Giants do next here, because being set behind isn't the end of the game. The end of the game comes when you're unable to get yourself back into a position of power. And right now, Giants, they're bringing four members up to the top lane. Afari's level six, though. Afari gets knocked up. Here comes Steelback with the jump in. Call of the Forge Court's gonna get used as well, but Ruin the first to get caught out Wait, by that. Summer. Summer TP's in. Ruin down. Max Law with first blood. And at the same time that this turret goes down, you have a Scuttle Crab. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, let's Scuttle Crab spawning on we the top side of the map. Though. Oh, no. Betsy jumps straight onto Max Law. Max Law with a knockback, but the Hemo Plague's enough. And now Betsy is fighting Senkux in the 1v1. Tom Kench comes in, and uh, Joker says, there you I go. don't want a piece of that. Senkux gets his first ever competitive kill on Yasuo. Because of the damage it dealt when it reached three items, but Betsy, he's 1v2. Steps a little bit too far forward, pops the Sanguine Pool as well. Joko here to oh, the in. Senkux going deep. Oh, baby. going ham. Betsy dead. And the teleport gets cancelled as well, and now Joko's not in the best of shapes. Max Wall solidifies that kill. Get away from Hans Summer and Mickey Mas Misfits pushing in that mid lane. Oh, Joko, Joko going for the gate, jumps straight onto that back line. Hexagoda made him into the Fisher, misses Max Law though, and Max Law oh. says goodbye. Oh. Joko, Hans Summer dodging around the fight. Mickey keeps him alive. Betsy kills Hans Summer though, and Nukesalot is low in the midst of this all as well. Call of the Forge God looking for the engage onto still back flash. Senkux is coming in, and that's a double for Max Law. Mickey does get spotted out here, but Misfits are all going up towards that top side of the map. They know Betsy is here by himself. The knock-up, there's a call of Forge God as well. Ooh. And Betsy gets evaporated by Misfits. They're going for the tower. They don't care about the Inferno right now. Bot out nukes a lot. And so much oh. corruption doesn't land. Flash okay, in with the suppression. Here's the Weaver's Wall as well. Nukesalot tries to flash away. Pops the Glacial Prism at the end. There's the call. Oh. Drop as well, though. And Misfits are just demolishing Giants in their jungle. Misfits flatline Giants as they take the win. Just waiting on that ban. Mickey can't, can't do it. Up. And Mickey's 1v1ing Joko. Just waiting for oh, it. No. TP comes in as well. Joko no. not going to get there in time. Straight into the waiting arms of Senkos. Oh, Sankos. man. Look away, kids. You shouldn't have to see this. <laughs> that was at taking down those top lane tanks. Yeah, building up the sacks as much as whoa, possible. Whoa, whoa. Mickey now caught out in the midst of them all. The stunned up, but there's the trend of corruption. Teleport coming in as well from Alfami. Misfits looking to find the fight as Giants engaged on towards them. Ruin pops the sadism. Here comes Betsy as well. Looking for the engage from the side. Knocked up with the last breath, but Betsy can get on towards the back. Backline, Alfami goes down. Betsy did a huge amount of work in that fight and comes out with a double kill. Bet. Once again, Misfits pushing forward with that vision. Okay. Hexagoda made some used on Mickey, but Hansama and Maxwell are just around the corner. So Nukesalot pumps the Fisher. Hits onto oh. Hansama. Betsy caught out by Senkos in the call of Forge God. Did a lot of work there as well. Betsy so low. He's down and with it. Giants' hopes are dead. Ruin's going to fall as well. Misfits find the fight they need. Keep your eyes on Betsy. All hope lies on Vladimir. Here we go. Into the midst of them all. The Hemo play comes down as well. Maxwell goes golden, but he's dead first. Betsy somehow surviving in the front of this all, but Alfari takes him out. Ruin running for his life towards Hansama, but now running the hell out of there. Still back flash away as well, but Senkox says not today, you will not survive against the Misfits. Nukes a lot, and Joko the last two alive. Well, Nukes are not, not alive much longer. Misfits now looking for the Nexus. Betsy was so close, now it's just Joko, and it's just not enough. Joko Giants. more like Joker. He goes down, it's the edge of madness, and Misfits 4-0 and oh in the first two weeks of the EU Summer Split.